0.12 is finally here and with the first 24 hours being rough as hell I have finally got all the information I need to make a video on the new map for you. I was thinking to myself what video should I release first and because the new map reserve is so fresh I thought everyone is going to need to know the extracts. This video is going to break down every single extract in the reserve map and we're going to cover whether it is for scavs only, for PMCs only or both scavs and PMCs can extract from this location. I have made a map as you can see on screen and it shows each location and we'll be referencing this map throughout the video. It'll be on screen a lot but just for your convenience I've put a link in the description where you can download this map for yourself. What it is is it's just the map downloaded from the wiki with loads of pointers added on top of it in Photoshop. It's nothing special but it gets the job done. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over all of the PMC only extracts. Then I'm going to go over all the scav extracts and then finish it with joint extracts that both PMCs and scavs can extract from. There's actually only one PMC only extract and that is Cliff Descent. This is going to be a really difficult extract to extract from. What you do is you go right to the top of the map by the radar tower and then you go from the front all the way to the back where the ladder goes up to the all the way to the top of the dome. And then there is a fencing right at the back. But what you need to extract from this location is a paracord and a repelling rig. If you're using a repelling rig, you cannot have body armor. And that's why I feel like not many people are going to use this extract. But it is PMC only, so no scabs will be here. Try no extract as well. It'll just be you lot. It's a nice, easy location to find. But obviously the requirements to actually extract is pretty difficult. So now we've got PMC only extracts out of the way, I'll be talking about scav only extracts. The first one I'll be talking about is CP Fence. CP Fence is just north of the maintenance and repair point and you can see it marked by a tree stump sticking out all on its own on the corner of the road. Then you'll see a tank that's up on a mound and then just in the corner you'll see a tiny crack in the fence. Go to that crack in the fence and you will start to extract. Moving from one crack to another we will be moving to hole in the fence on the far left of the map. The easiest way to see it is go from barracks and academic buildings right to the far left and you will see a watchtower on your right. Just to the left of the watchtower you'll see another crack in the wall, head to that wall and that will be your extract. Moving on we'll go to the heating pipe and this is located just south of the shipment and temporary storage station. And all you need to do is walk past all of the red containers and once you see the pipe going over the wall, head to that pipe and you will start to extract. Finally for the scav only extracts we have the bunker hermetic door. This is located by the storage warehouses and you'll see that there are 8 big domes. These are really hard to miss but what you want to do is go to the furthest left dome with the doors open. It's got barrels surrounding it so it's pretty hard to miss as well. Down the end of that corridor inside the bunker you'll see a red glowing light on top of a door head to that and you will start to extract now the scav extracts are pretty easy but the joint extracts all require some sort of challenge to actually extract from the first one we'll be talking about is the sewer manhole this is once again located in the maintenance and repair point in the far top left corner you will see a trailer and a red truck. In between the two, there is a small manhole. You can extract from this as long as you have a bag no bigger than the MBSS. So if you have a bigger bag and you've got a lot of gear, then you won't be able to extract from this location. But if you've got no bag at all or a very small one, then this location is pretty easy to extract from. Now the next extract we'll be talking about is Scavlands. This is located right down south on the map and it is located right next to the south checkpoint. So to find this is actually pretty easy, you just follow the road, you'll see a BTR between the two train tracks, just keep heading south and you will see some Russian lettering on some concrete. But to extract from this location is pretty difficult, this is why I think it's going to be another one that isn't used very often. You need to either, if you're a PMC, have a friendly scav come out with you, so you need to find a player scav that is willing to extract with you and not shoot you on sight. And if you're a scav, you need to find a friendly PMC to extract with. Player scavs and PMCs need to work together to actually extract from this location. It's an interesting concept, but from my experience playing this map, not many people are going to go there because everyone just shoots on sight. And finally we have the main extract. This is an extract that is very common and it was even featured in the 0.12 trailer. This is the armoured train. To actually get to this location just go to the rolling stock repair and maintenance depot. 
and at around the 30 minute mark it does vary you will hear a train start to come down the tracks and it will toot its horn then it will stop just outside of this depot and all doors will open everyone is gonna go to that so be prepared for a fight the train will then wait there with its doors open for around six to seven minutes and then it will toot its horn again once that's happened it will be another minute and it'll toot its horn twice and the doors will start closing and then you will be ready to extract your extract time will start and you will leave the raid honestly it's quite a difficult extract to hold down because there's so many doors and many angles for people to come from but if you get yourself in a corner or right at one end of the train and you can aim the whole way down the carriage you might be in with a chance of getting out it's a very common extract so be aware a lot of people both players and scavs will be heading to this location guys that is all of the extracts in the new reserve map personally this map is one of my favorites i think the sort of variation in extracts is really quite key and the diversity of the map itself is incredible there will be tons of videos in 0.12 coming out on this channel so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my content and comment down below whether you've actually got past the long 20 minute match times or actually got into the launcher itself this is just because servers are overloaded guys so do expect it for the next few days but it will ease off and people will be able to get in raid more freely it is a lot better than it was yesterday let's just put it that way they are working hard to fix it but it is frustrating i know it's the start of a wipe it happens quite frequently but yeah guys love you all hope you have a good evening kisses cuddles etc etc I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end of this video, but before I end it, I'd like to tell you something about Shadow. Shadow is a company that I'm working with to promote Max Gaming PC settings anywhere you are. Shadow is a cloud-based subscription service which allows you to subscribe $30 a month and you can play any games, Max settings, anywhere you are, which means you can have a broken up PC, a shitty laptop, or a Mac, and you can still play games like Tarkov in Max settings, 1440p, 60fps, and this is actually how I record all my gameplay and stream Tarkov at this point in time so if you liked how the game looked in this video then check out the description and it'll take you to Shadow's website you can do more research there and if you do decide to sign up using the code SAM10 you'll get $10 off your first month thank you so much everyone toodle pip cheerio enjoy your evening